Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. So today I'll be talking about Linux and my experience with it after using it for about three months now and uh, given basically my honest opinion about Linux in general as a beginner, of course, because I'm no expert by any means. It's my first time going full time on Linux and using Linux totally without relying on Windows that much. Yes, for sure. I use Windows sometimes to record my videos and stuff, but like mostly I'm on Linux. Let me just tell you how it's all started and how all of this happened so one day i remember like three months ago i bought that one 2006 macbook for 10 bucks and i was left with no option to either use the old mac os operating system or go with linux and of course because the mac os that was supported on that 2006 macbook is really outdated that you're not going to be able to do that much things on it i was left with using linux i went on Google said what the best operating system based on Linux that can run on that machine. I found that there is that one called MX Linux and appeared to be really usable on that machine. So just decided to install it and use it and daily drive it. And that's exactly what I did. It was a really fun, honestly, because the installation was overall simple. And as a beginner, it wasn't really the hard to actually use that operating system or that Linux distro. A lot of people actually on the internet be like oh linux is not for beginners or linux is not beginner friendly or you cannot use linux at all as a beginner and you need to be some type of expert which to me appears to be completely wrong and completely inaccurate if i'm gonna be honest i was really afraid to just use linux in the first place because of the whole propaganda going about it and yeah linux 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 i use arch by the way oh arch is not for beginners or oh, whatever that is oh no 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 and then like out of nowhere i was using linux just like that i got into the world of linux randomly just because a random laptop i bought and then after playing around with mx linux customizing the xfce desktop environment changing stuff here and there uh, basically just messing around with it just to uh, learn a bit more about linux i was like huh that's not really that hard so i decided to take it to the next level and instead of just keeping it on that one machine i decided to expand so after that, I decided like to install it on my laptop. It's like an HP laptop from 2012. Installed end of all OS on it. And that's, by the way, the first Arch-based distro that I ever used in my life. Before even knowing about Linux that much, I used to play around with Ubuntu and even tried Zorin OS for a little bit. Uh, I tried a lot of other distros just for fun. Also Kali Linux. But I didn't go really full time with this and just kept this on a virtual machine. And that was really surprise didn't really expect it to go that well but it actually did go so well uh, that i was like why people just say that linux is really that complicated while well, it's not learned a lot of stuff learned about desktop environments learned about how to use it how to install my applications and all of that and then it was the big move for me to just decide to install it on my actual desktop that i use for work wasn't really a great decision decision at first because I had to reinstall Linux multiple times along with Windows. The headache of just dual booting Windows and Linux and sometimes when you install Windows then you try to install Linux, Windows make an update and ruins the hell out of everything you made and all the progress you have made so far so I had to just keep reinstalling Linux again and again and again until I found a way to make my experience a stable experience with Linux and Windows at the same time. I'm not really going that much with Linux like I I still use Windows sometimes for my videos, just like I decided to keep it around in case I needed something from Windows. But overall, I use Linux full time now. And doing just that, basically, dual boot in Windows and Linux just gave me more freedom. We all know that laptops aren't really that powerful as much as desktops. So I got a much better experience just installing on my desktop. It's also an HP desktop. And from there, I started going deep into the Linux stuff, learning more how to customize it, learning more how to deal with it how to do myself how to like create my own workflow on linux instead of relying on windows 10 or 11. for me at that point i was really going through some headache because of how slow was windows 11 on my machine despite the fact that my machine is not really that old so switching to linux seemed like an okay decision and going full time with it wasn't really a bad idea and here i want to like mention something that is really important for you as a beginner of linux 
mechanics. Just like me, I'm not saying I'm, I'm an expert. I'm still a beginner as well. Never believe in what people say in the internet. You know, you gotta like try it yourself. For me, I was really scared mainly because of what people say about Linux. And you know, you serve the net about Linux and you just see people hating on Linux for some reasons and saying that it's complicated. While it's not, I would really suggest trying it yourself as first without listening to anybody. So you get your actual experience with Linux instead of just relying on people's comments. You get my point. And we all say that there is only one way to find out about something is to try the thing. And that's exactly what I did. I tried it. I didn't really listen that much. I decided to just get my head off all of these videos and all these people talking about Linux and try it myself, which surprisingly made me more attached to Linux. Now, after three months of using Linux, I cannot really use Windows that much. Whenever I go to Windows 10 and try to use it, it feels like inconvenient and the amount of customization stuff that I got used with Linux are not available on Windows, which give me a bit uncomfortable using Windows. But that's completely fine. Linux exists and you can give it a try right here, right now. Nobody gonna stop you. Just don't listen to anybody and try it yourself. At the same time, I don't want to send you blind in the dark and tell you, hey, install Linux. I'm not gonna tell you that. Just like try to experience it by trying it first in a virtual machine. Because yes, Linux is not complicated, but in the same time, it's complicated. There is some stuff that you will find really different than Windows. There's gonna be similarities here and there with the desktop environments, for example, KDE, really similar to Windows, like the layouts of it. So mostly I would say try it in a virtual machine first and give it a try and see how your experience is gonna be with Linux in general. And about the distros that you could try, one of them is Linux Mint. I would really recommend that one. I tried this myself as a beginner and this was really beginner friendly. So you can go with that as well. If you weren't really interested in Linux Mint, there is a lot of other distros. The one I'm using in front of you right now is Endeavor OS, which is based on Arch. And that's what's really, really, really crazy. I'm using an Arch-based distro. You know, the whole thing about Arch and how is it complicated and how people keep saying, oh, I use Arch, by the way. And that's, of course, for a reason, not because Arch is a normal distro, but it's like a distro not for beginners. And me as a beginner using Arch, it was like, wow, okay, I'm just using Arch just like that. I didn't really have to do any hard installation. I just like burned that shit to a USB and boot it into it and then clicked on next, next, next and installed it. Of course, I cannot say I use arch by the way i'm sorry if i did say that before uh even though that's my gave me a chance to say it because basically it's an arch based distro but in the same time i cannot because i didn't deal with all the headaches that arch users have to deal with every time they try to install arch i don't recommend using arch as a beginner okay i'm not gonna tell you to use arch but in the same time it's better honestly like it's way better than other distros it's the next level linux distros that you will use but as a beginner go with linux mint i don't recommend Ubuntu. You can go also with Sorin OS. The layout of that thing is also similar to Windows. You will not face that much problems with it. There's a lot of distros that you could give a try. But of course, make your researches. I'm not just going to keep recommending and telling you to install this or that. Of course, like search for a distro that you will like for something that will be convenient for you. So you get the best experience out of Linux instead of dealing with headaches of fixing problems here and there and tinkering with that and playing with that and messing around with that. So you get my points, right? And yeah, this was really it. Three months of using Linux and they never in my life regretted making such a decision. The thing is that I actually regret is using Windows all this time and not knowing about Linux because of people talking shit about it. That's a really big mistake. I wish I started using Linux a long time ago, but sadly I didn't. It's okay. I still can use it and here I am using it and enjoying every single bit of it. I hope you guys really learned something from that video and I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like in the comments. And of course, let me know how was your experience with Linux once you installed this for the first time. See you in the next one.